genderqueer people who still use the women's bathroom who look like men. Look at, you know, I know it's painful, like y'all just like waiting to piss and you just run up in there because you don't want nobody to see you and be like, ah, there's a guy in the you know, like, and all of that thing. But this is what I'm saying, all you genderqueer people who still use the women's bathroom, be revolutionary about that shit. Run up in there, stand in the middle of the fucking bathroom and be like, oh my God, I have to pee so bad. Man, I stopped using the ladies' bathroom long, long time ago. And uh, the last time I used the ladies' bathroom was like over a decade ago. And I walked in and it was the Denny's women's lady, women ladies' room. And then uh, this woman was coming out and she, she was like, ladies only. Usually that happens all the time, right? Like that's like a no-brainer. They'll, they'll uh, look at the, the door and come in and do their business, not bother me. This woman actually came up to me um, as I'm washing my hands and, you know, softly said to me, like kind of like touched my arm and said, you've made a mistake. This is a women's restroom. And I look at her and I said, do you not know that I know this is a women's restroom? You know, and I'm speaking English, right? And she's, she's startled and, um, she doesn't say anything else, and then she quickly goes into the women's stall. And I said, uh, and I, I was like, of course I know this is a women's restroom. In my mind, I thought, I know why she did that. She wanted to be a good Samaritan and, and help me, because she thought I was, you know, Asian, male, and a foreigner didn't speak English and came into this restroom by accident. So she is misperceiving me um, racially, gendered, and assuming that I'm a foreigner and assuming I don't speak English. Um, and at that point I'm like, how do I unwrap myself around this? Like, is she being racist? Is she being sexist? Is she being heterosexist? Is she just being dumb? Like, all of those things are happening, you know, right then and there. And I'm like, oh my God, uh, this is a perfect example that um, how people are perceiving me in so many different ways that I'm not even able to untangle it because um, it's not just one thing. Once I was at Six Flags, um, with a group of people and I had to go to the bathroom like it was a dire situation I mean it wasn't dire but it, I had to go to the bathroom and I couldn't avoid it because we weren't leaving and so I was like I'm going to the women's restroom and this is pre-testosterone or anything and I went to the women's restroom and this woman was like this is a women's restroom you know that kind of like are you an idiot and her, she was so hostile to me that I was just like, I had to get a little out of pocket. And I was like, I have a vagina. <laughs> what is this space about? Who's allowed? Because I have some vague understanding that because I have a vagina, I'm supposed to go to the bathroom here. But if this is not the correct assumption, please direct me to that bathroom where I'm, where it's appropriate for me to pee. I mean, for the love of God, I just want to pee. <laughs> I know there's a lot more than bathrooms to us and what we go through, but it's just a very, you know, people don't even think twice about the bathroom being an issue. So it's something to highlight to say, like, it's a big privilege if you never have to think about it. All right, how y'all doing? Y'all good? Feeling good? All the lady looking good tonight. I don't talk like that. <laughs> I know I sound like Mickey Mouse. I know some of y'all who don't know me are thinking, wait, is that a girl who looks like a man or a boy who looks better than my man? 